Hello there and welcome to the Mobile Academy and if you want to become a job ready Flutter developer make sure to check out the courses on my website mobileacademy.io here you will find all of the courses related to the flutter development you will find the professional course as well as the basic course related to the flutter you can also find some of the uh, free courses over here if you want to just go and try it out or if you are just a beginner on the flutter and then the react native you can also find the free course over here and if you would like to be a full stack developer, we also have the course related to the full stack developer, related to the uh, Node.js, Express, MongoDB, as well as the Flutter over here. And if you would like to join the uh, Flutter Bootcamp, there is also a Bootcamp course over here. So make sure to go and check out the course over here. There are free and then they paid codes. And if you want to be a job ready Flutter developer, this is the course that you would want to take. So see you guys on the next lesson. Till then, have a great day. Let us continue with our lesson over here. And the next step what we will try to learn about is let's go to the app router or go router over here. And in this particular uh, go router instance, we have the option to make use of the uh, we can use the redirect of, over here. So let's go and search for that particular uh, option that will be of the redirect over here. So it takes the uh, build context and the go router. So let's just make use of this one, the redirect function over here. And I'll just go and say the redirect over here. It takes the uh, context and then the the uh, the state over here, which is of the go router state over here. And here we are uh, currently, we don't want to do anything. Let's just go and uh, log it over here. So I just want to make use of, let's just make use of the dbug debug print over here so let's just go and make use of the debug print over here and uh, here i'll just go and print uh, some information like the uh, from this particular state i can get some information state dot the you can grab the full path right and also let's just grab the uh, first of all let's just grab the route uh, the, the uh, name and i can also grab the like the uh, path over here full name and uh, then let's just go and uh, print some more information we have the name path the uh, match location over here and uh, then you can also print the uh, the uh, page key over here as well right and this is the R value type of the key. So I will just make use of the dot D2 string over here. And you have a lot of the information that you can actually uh, go and print out over here. So you can get some information like the, uh, let's just go and grab the uh, page key path and then the, uh, let's say the path prompts over here, dot D2 string as well over here. And let's try to reload our application and now you can see that we have this particular information which is of the null we are going to this the path right and uh, we have a couple of the information so that's why it's uh, getting confused obviously if i go to the login and now you can see i'm currently in the home right if i go to the product and from here i go to the product detail you can see that we got those information printed out so this may be the full path over here so let's try to go and have the string interpolation over here and that will be of the let's grab this one and this will be of the let's say uh, this is of the ful full path over here and similarly we will do the same thing for this particular path over here let's try to do the string interpolation and this will be of the uh, path over here Let's try to reload and we should get the, this is the path is of the null full path over here. And uh, then let's try to log in from here. And now you can see oh, we are printing all of this information. Full path is of the home, right? And uh, then if I go to the product and if I go open this particular product detail, you can see full path is of this one. So a lot of the uh, information that we can grab from here, like you can check if the path each of this certain path like if the path is of the uh, the home and you can check condition like if it, if the user has not logged in you can redirect that user to certain uh, route 
like let's say if I just go and um, let's just go and say like the um, final each FIST FIR is the first right let's say it's first and I'll just go and set the default value for for this one to be of the true and if let's say if you are in the uh, first run so I'll just say const so maybe I'll just can make you see or n as the const over here and let's say that uh, we check for if we are running this particular uh, app for the first time right from here then we want to return it to a different route so let's say I want to return this one to the on on the OAR the onboarding screen so let's just go and create a one screen that will have um, let's go and have some a simple screen I guess I can just make use of this particular screen I'll just go and paste it uh, over here and let's just go and rename this one to be of the uh, let's say uh, on B O A R D and onboarding and let's have this particular onboarding screen and this should not be of the copy so I have to remove this from here and here we'll just go and rename this one to be of the uh, on B O A R D uh, A R D and onboarding onboarding screen and I'll just copy and paste it over here and from here I'll just return the on B O A R D onboarding screen so this may be the first screen that you want the user to show up and um, you want to check for certain condition like uh, if the user uh, opens this app for the first time so let's just set it to true and I want to uh, say that I want to return from here the route is of this one so uh, let's go to our uh, route page over here route the uh, app route name and currently we don't have that particular so let's just go and create that particular uh, name over here that will be of the uh, let's say this is of the uh, un b o a r onboarding route name and that will be of the un b o a r the engine boarding over here let's go to the app route and we need that one so let's just copy this particular uh, the first route of the login and I'll paste it over here and we'll set this one as the on the OARD and uh, onboarding so it should match what we have uh, written from here right so make sure it matches that what we are returning from here and this will be of the uh, onboarding uh, route name and from here onboarding screen that we want to return so that should be the one so we are going to check in this particular redirect right so in this particular redirect section and here the default constructor to configure the go router okay so it's not that one route must not okay so it's, it doesn't have any documentation for for redirect so redirect is called is it is a place where we can configure like you are uh, you can uh, configure where to redirect it right so so like let's say if i go and run this one now and if I okay so now you can exception no route or location onboarding so currently we don't have that uh, route uh, onboarding so it's returning so you can see that it is returning to this particular route okay so currently we don't have that because of the spelling error so you can see that we have the spelling error so now uh, we are going to check here and if that is the one if it is not if it is of the first time we don't want to go to this our initial route but instead we want to go to the the onboarding so you can see the power of this one so how we can uh, redirect so you can see that it's on the onboarding screen uh, i'll just add the uh, app bar over here so we can just see it correctly and let's add the um, a title over here title will be of the onboarding so uh, just go and reload this one and uh, now you can see that we are on the onboarding screen over here so that's cool right so how we manage to go over there each from this particular redirect function so the initial login it should go to this particular uh, login um, route over here but what we did is we redirect the user based on standard condition to go to this particular onboarding screen over here right so like say if this is of the uh, false and what we want to do over here is uh, if this is of the if this is of the false right and let's say this is of the false and 
okay, so never mind for this one so if it is um, currently we are just setting it over here that's why it's giving us some this kind of the warning but let's just go and uh, say run it over here. now you can see we are on the login screen so the redirect function is quite useful like uh, you want to check if the user is going to the home screen but you want the user to first to log in you uh, user must have a session then only you want to send it to the home page so here in the redirect function you can actually check whether the user has already logged in and if the user is logged in then he can go to the home page otherwise you will redirect back the user to the login page like let's say if uh, if you uh, create another variable something like the uh, each l o g g e t logged in over here and you can check if the logged in is of the false then the if the and you can also check for if the user if the user is going to this particular uh, path right so you have the path over here so if the user is going to the home path over here and the, if the user is not logged in then you should always redirect user to the login page or something so you can add this kind of the uh, logic over here but since we are not building a full application we will be not looking into this but if you are building any um the application you can always make use of the redirect and you can also see that we got some uh, the warning message so this function has a nullable return type so it has a return type we haven't written anything so make sure to return from the null from here at the end so this can be of the nullable type so we'll just return a null at the end over here as well so just uh, to remove and uh, this um, redirect function can call the multiple time and uh, you have to take note on that one it's not just a one time uh, depending on the um, the how the route is handled internally it may be called a multiple time over here so you you need to take note on that one. it may call one time it may call be two time it may call multiple time so we need to note on that one as well so redirect function can be called a multiple time so that's all for this lesson and we will meet up in the next one till then have a great day